Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our workout for today. This is your final workout for the week. So it is more cardio and core based, but there will be some strength moves in there as well. You will not need any equipment though. Everything will be body weight. All right, let's go through some of the exercises. The first one on the list is called a leg up down. We have done these before if you were in Try fit at the time. Otherwise, this may be a new one. So I'm going to show you from the side and then from the front. So we know push up, up downs or plank up downs. We start from a plank, lower to our forearms, and then back up. This is basically the same thing, but from our legs. So I'm going to start in front of my mat. I'm going to step back into a single leg lunge and lower to the ground. My front leg is going to go back. Other leg is going to come forward, and then I'm going to step all the way back up, and I'm going to reverse it. So now my left leg goes back, other leg back, forward, and up. <clears throat> Ultimately, your goal is to keep your body as long and tall as you can, and try to prevent, let me show you from the front, any kind of leaning side to side. So when I step back, my chest stays nice and tall. Everything stays forward. When I move this leg, I lift from the core to take it back. And I lift forward and back up. So we're trying to prevent, as much as possible, the lean to get that leg around, or the lean to work this one back up, or the front to back motion. Now, really, I said that, that those are goals, and they're very dependent upon the flexibility you have in your hips, the flexibility and the strength you have in those hip flexors to pull through and the strength you have to get up off the floor from this position. So a lot of variables. Ultimately, you want to stay nice and tall. You may have to just do whatever you can to get back up right now. So a couple modifications. Number one would be a pole of some kind. For example, my broom. So if I'm going back, and I know that I'm gonna have a hard time getting up all the way from here, I can take that broom on the opposite side and kind of push down with it a little bit to help me get up. So a broom is an option. Another option is to stay on the same side when you go down. So if you know that you can go low enough to tap your back knee but you don't think you can go all the way through switching your knees, what you can do is step back and tap that knee and right back up. It'll be very similar to Monday's workout when we did that for the assessment, the knee tap and back up. So that is another option. If on Monday you were unable to get your knee all the way to the ground, then pull out whatever you used that day and instead of doing 60 seconds of alternating legs. Do 30 seconds of each leg on that lunge tap. Make sure that you step over the box. And so instead of stepping backwards, step forward so you know where that box is. And then 30 seconds on the other leg. Alrighty. Choose the version that's gonna challenge you the most. If that means you start with the alternating up downs and about halfway through, you have to switch to just the lunge tap. Perfectly fine. Your goal is to challenge yourself on this one. So next one I'm gonna talk about is our push-up. In parentheses I have put, I'm sorry, in quotations, I have put fall flats because I want you to think about them as fall to the ground, get back up, fall to the ground, get back up. So in that push-up position, I want no control other than your core staying tight because that's always important. I don't want any control from your upper body. Your goal is to just get there and push back up. It will wear you out a lot more than you think if you're really pushing your speed. It does not matter whether you need your knees for support on a push-up or whether you're strictly from your feet. You can get just as much help from those knees on the way down, but make sure you go back to that plank. We've got to hit that plank every time. Alrighty, jump lunge. Slide this back. Our jump lunges we did 
earlier this week, but I just want to review your options if jumping is something that is a little hard on the knees, or especially towards the middle or end of a workout when you're real tired cardio-wise. I want you to make sure you know all of your options. Option number one is a true jump lunge. You are jumping into a lunge and switching in the air. Switch, switch. Option number two is to come back together in the middle. So jump lunge to center, to lunge to center. Option number three, this one may be a new one, is to jump into a lunge, but instead of both feet moving, one forward, one backwards, just move your back foot. So I'm gonna hop, my foot, my front foot's gonna stay right where it is. So it's almost like a hop into a step reverse lunge. Back together to front, hop, step back, and front. So I'm adding a little intensity and a little bit of pressure landing on that front leg, but it's still a progression to the ground rather than a land both feet at the same time. Your final progression or regression would be a reverse step lunge. So reverse lunge and then try to hop it back together. So I step back, but then I try to hop to meet in the middle. If you have never tried jump lunge or you're coming back from knee issues, that's the one to start with. Step back first so you have good control when you're landing and then hop the way together so you have both legs to absorb the landing. Alrighty, two to go. First one is going to be our line alternating L crunch. Basically the easiest exercise you have today. A little bit more of a breath catcher, but also just focused abdominal work. Going to roll back, legs are up, nice and straight, actively squeezing the quads to keep them straight. Squeeze the feet together. One hand behind the head. As you sit up, you're going to be reaching to the outside of the opposite foot. Back to center and switch sides. Opposite and back. One thing I want you to focus on is keeping the back of the elbow that's bent on the ground. The reason I want you to do that is because it allows you to rotate a little bit more because you can press the back of that arm into the ground. It's going to fire up your obliques as you reach. You can try both ways and notice that when you lift that elbow, you lose some of your ability to rotate. So you still get abdominal work, it's great, but you don't kick in that oblique quite as much. So keep that elbow on the ground and press through it to really rotate. <coughs> Final exercise, our lateral lunge shifts. So you can tell from, both from uh, Monday and Wednesday, or from the first two extra, uh, workouts this week, that lateral lunges are gonna come in pretty big this season. One thing that we can do is instead of taking a full lateral lunge, we turn it into a shift. It's gonna force us to spend more time down low, which is important. Adds to the endurance and helps us sit a little bit lower. So I'm gonna start with my feet already wide and shift to one side. From here, feet are not moving. Hips stay low and shift to the other side. The hardest thing about this exercise is the fact that your quads are going to start screaming at you because they're both going to be working at all times. It should not feel like an up-down. This is one that I love to do when we have mirrors. Um, I really love to do when I can watch you or put you with a partner to watch each other because it's really easy as you're tired, and this is one of our later exercises, to uh, start bobbing up and down. So try really hard, if you have a mirror, or if you can just really find that focus of, I'm underneath the table, and I have to stay there. Shift, shift, shift. I would rather you slow these down and hit that full bend, full straight. Full bend, full straight. All right, guys. Enjoy your workout as much as possible. Enjoy your cool down for sure, and I hope you have a great rest of your week.